Hey, what's going on? So, on, on this channel, we call ourselves Brainmates. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing after watching the video. Boop! Brainmates! What is your profession? <laughs> hey, Brainmates, what's going on? My name is Jordan, I'm from Jordan, and you are watching The Jordan Show. Today, we are reacting to a video from Dark Matter with the title but intelligent people believe in God nah I don't know about that let's start the video roll it I've been told that there have been a lot of intelligent people throughout history who have believed in God. That's true. While you ponder the significance of that, Please ignore all I'd the like ones. you to consider Marcus. This is Marcus, and he's a very intelligent guy. He heard a pretty ridiculous claim from an anonymous source. He immediately didn't believe it and went about his day without giving it further thought. Later, Marcus heard a friendly acquaintance make the ridiculous claim. But despite the claim's ridiculousness, Marcus trusted the source, so he actually believed it. Yet because the ridiculous claim isn't actually true, you might think that it won't be too difficult to convince Marcus that he shouldn't believe it. And at this point, indeed, it might not be too difficult to convince him of the truth. I mean, he is an intelligent guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now let's change the circumstances. Let's say that Marcus was raised from birth. That's the problem. That is the problem. To believe the ridiculous claim. If that's the case, it will be... Yeah, that is the case most of the time. Oh my God. You know, this is just my childhood. Or, or like, maybe all of our childhoods like this is how we grew up with all the ridiculous claim just being in the middle like like in your life the whole fucking time and it need, you know you're gonna need like what i don't know a lot of time to actually figure out your life and what much more difficult to convince marcus that the claim isn't true after all, it was taught to him and consistently reinforced throughout his life by his parents. The very people nature has set him up to trust the most, regardless of their knowledge or lack thereof, of the actual truth. Let's change the circumstances again. Let's say that not only was Marcus raised from birth to believe the ridiculous claim, but that the community of people who live around Marcus and this is so fucking sad. This is so sad. Oh my god. It's exactly our lives. All of us. This is what happened to us, you know. Our parents raised us to believe that. The society, each and everyone you know and I know is, like, believes that while you were growing up. And yeah, it took me what 21 years to figure shit his out. family were also raised believing the same ridiculous claim. At this point, Marcus's belief will be reinforced by many other people besides his blood relatives, including probably his spouse. His belief will be considered the norm, and anything that contradicts it will seem alien and wrong. Now, it will be very difficult to convince Marcus that the ridiculous claim is false. You know what? I guess our generation has a very different situation, I guess, because of the internet and because of really good education. Like, you know, like now, uh, and, you know, in the group of people I know, from my class, from my year in university, especially like not my colleagues, my friends in university, 
you can say maybe like what maybe 30 to 40 percent of them are non believers and it, it doesn't happen like you know while they're growing up it, it happens like you know with years and years of really good education and like you know knowledge and they start questioning these things by themselves and then they reach a very uh, you know clear and uh, and understandable so, uh, you know conclusion that you know there is or maybe you can't you know prove that there is a god or not that's my my point of view. let's change the circumstances yet again by simply adding many years to the effect let's say that the ridiculous claim has persisted throughout many generations marcus's community is merely the most recent community to have been raised with this belief and the ridiculous claim throughout the years has caused beloved traditions to develop. Traditions that provide happiness, stability, familiarity, and comfort. Yeah, for me, as much as I don't agree with religion, I hate traditions. I hate traditions. Though... Because... Yeah, they fucking suck. Those traditions gave rise to institutions. The ridiculous claim has rolled down a mountain like an avalanche gaining momentum. And now there are holidays that celebrate its different <laughs> aspects. Entire buildings constructed to facilitate rituals developed from the ridiculous claim, complete with specialized vocations, hierarchies, uniforms, schools, and inspiring works of art in every medium. Naturally, intense tribalism develops, bonding people who believe the ridiculous claim, thereby affecting political <laughs> policy from the least powerful forms of government to the most powerful. This intense tribalism also causes the stigmatization and ostracization of anyone who does not believe. Wow. This is fucking awesome. This guy is really smart. The ridiculous claim, even amongst friends and family. Historically, and even in some regions to this day, disbelievers may be tortured and... You know, that's why I have to be really careful. <laughs> I have to be really careful. This is not funny. I have to be really Kill. careful. At this point, not only would the ridiculous claim seem obviously true, but the truth itself would seem obviously ridiculous. Convincing <laughs> Marcus at this point becomes an exercise in futility, as anyone who comes bearing the truth would not only seem ridiculous, but strange, devious, and even evil. Let's change the circumstances of final time. Let's say that the ridiculous claim bears with it a caveat, that believing it results in the ultimate reward, while disbelieving results in the ultimate punishment. Now, not only does Marcus have a tremendous incentive to believe what has already been relentlessly instilled in him to believe since birth, but he also has an incentive to spread the ridiculous claim to those who are unaware, or to convince those who disbelieve so that they too can be saved. In this way, you know whoever actually started this idea of religion and 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 you know make a process out of it and it's just really devious and evil and when you, when you hear dark matter 2525 telling you what what's going on there uh, it's really scary and it's beyond being in a cult it's like it's like really really difficult thing to actually you know, comprehend in your brain. That's really weird. Smart people are claiming some crazy ridiculous claims. Using Marcus's goodness, the ridiculous claim reproduces, causing people to think that not only should they believe it, but that they need to believe it. Add this to all the previous circumstances, and it would be simply amazing if Marcus could ever see the ridiculous claim for the falsehood that it is, despite the fact that he's an intelligent guy. The funny thing about the truth is that it will remain true, even if you weren't raised to believe it. 
The truth requires no indoctrination, communities, traditions, institutions, governments, apologetics, stigmatization, tribalism, incentives, or punishments. Yet without these things, the ridiculous claim would utterly disappear, never to resurface. The truth, yeah. however, will remain true and available to be discovered even if nobody spreads it by the edge of a sword, or by the point of a gun, or by the explosion of a bomb or by a parent to their child. At some point, maybe, just maybe, one day, Marcus will ask himself why the ridiculous claim needs so many dirty tricks to be believed. This is, uh, <laughs> this is so emotional and weird because it talks to me directly. You know, I, I, I grew up uh, a Muslim, but I never really was so religious, but at the same time I was so, I was just there, you know, I was just practicing and doing the things they taught me to do and believing everything that, you know, everybody, like, you know, my parents, the society, the government, the schools taught me to actually believe. And, you know, like, you know, you grew up, you grow up, you can't, you don't really, like, uh, question that because you know they your parents tell you you know there's some invisible guy in the sky who uh, who loves you and wants to protect you and you know but you know you have to be you have to hate gays you have to uh, do all this crazy shit I'm like uh, and I don't know like you know all these ideas are very fringe you know to have especially like like until now in Jordan you don't really like openly uh, have ex like experience like a, just a normal conversation with a gay person for example so for for somebody that like me when I was a kid it was a really fringe idea like I thought these things are like you know like uh, mythical creatures that don't exist it's only in the in the in like you know in the history books and stuff like that I never actually thought they exist you know what I'm saying it's like it's really far away from and each and everything that my father tells me, my like you know my religion uh, teacher tells me, like the society tells me, the school tells me, like it's true. You know they they love me. They want me to you know be educated and all these things. But yeah, <laughs> the cool thing like when you go and uh, to university and start you know studying, it turns out you know there's they will actually teach real science. You know. <laughs> And when you, when you start studying something, like I, I was studying like quantum physics and I took so many science classes, you know, I took biology, I took some other electives, and I thought, you know what, you know, maybe there's nothing like that, maybe this is so fucking ridiculous, you know, like, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, it was so like, and then I, I, I started, you know, like, you know, maybe there is something else, maybe there's, I don't know, but I never actually, you know, faced myself but face to face and decided, you know, this is it. Until one night, I was, uh, me and a couple of my, my very close friends, like I know them for like 10, 12, 13, 15 years, something like that, a long, long time ago. We were like sitting around just having a drink. And one of my best friends ever came out of the closet. And that was the moment when I decided, okay, this, uh, this thing is not for me. I don't believe in religion. If there's a God, I don't think he's the God that everybody's talking about. And I don't know if he exists or not. It's not my thing to say. And yeah, that's uh, that's when I decided I'm agnostic. And I'm happy with that, you know. I don't really want to know. And I don't really care. Yeah. That uh, was a very <laughs> interesting video. I learned so many things and it makes your brain actually, you know, jump out and start talking to you. <laughs> I hope you guys like the video. Uh, I would like to thank Matty Man for sponsoring this video and many other videos. Uh, uh, if you want me to react to something or like watch a specific video, you can do that through the Streamlabs link in the description down below. Uh, it's very easy. You go there, you put the link. You donate five to ten dollars or whatever amount you want, and 
yeah, you just send me that and I will react to it as soon as possible. I love you guys very much. Uh, please consider subscribing if you're new to this channel. And, uh, you know, hit that like button if you like the video. If you don't like the video, that dislike button is for you. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I'm business guy Jordan, you know, hence the glasses, the hat, and the formal kind of sitting. Man, I'm just fucking with you guys. Still, I'm the business guy Jordan. Uh, I'm here to tell you, please guys, support this channel. Let's keep it alive. You know, there's the Steam Lab link in the description down below. There's the Patreon thingy. Go ahead and support this channel. Let's keep doing the good work. That's it. That was not that. Mm. That was not that professional, right? I know. I'm I'm business guy Jordan. See you guys in the next one. That's my best friend.